Welcome to Explorers Academy. My name is Elena with Manatee County Parks and Natural Resources. This week, in celebration of National Estuaries Week, we're going to dive deep into what makes estuaries special. Estuaries are an important habitat where fresh water from the river meets salt water from the ocean. Manatee County is lucky enough to be part of three national estuaries, Tampa Bay Estuary Program, Sarasota Bay Estuary Program, and Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership. Manatee County Parks and Natural Resources Department works closely with these programs to ensure our estuaries stay vibrant and healthy. Hello, my name is Sheila Scalaro. I am the Public Outreach Specialist for the Tampa Bay Estuary Program. Hi, my name is Darcy Young. I'm the Director of Planning and Communications with the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program. The Tampa Bay Estuary Program is a partnership of governments at the local, state, and federal level. And our job is to protect and restore the Tampa Bay Estuary by building partnerships and promoting environmental stewardship through community involvement. So one of the avenues that we use to fulfill this mission is primarily our funding opportunities. Altogether, we have helped fund over $9 million in restoration in Tampa Bay Watershed. The Sarasota Bay Estuary Program is a partnership of communities, scientists, and governments working together to restore Sarasota Bay. At the Estuary Program, our role is to bring people together to talk about how we can work together toward three main goals for bay restoration. We work on protecting water quality in Sarasota Bay, in increasing the amount of habitat available around Sarasota Bay, and increasing community engagement in issues that matter for bay restoration. Estuaries are any location where salt and fresh water combine, so this creates what we call brackish water. The salinity in the bay, or the amount of salt that's in the water, changes from day to day, depending on the tides coming in and out and the amount of rainwater that we've gotten recently. So these wide ranges in salinity really sets the stage for a very dynamic ecosystem. We get animals that come in from our tidal creeks and rivers and from the Gulf of Mexico, and then there are certain species that are adapted specifically to live here in this estuary in between place. Estuaries are home to a variety of unique plants and animals that have adapted to life in brackish water. Many animals use estuaries as nurseries, laying eggs in the shelter of the seagrasses and mangrove trees. In fact, over 95% of the fish, mollusks, and crustaceans we eat use estuaries as their nursing grounds. In addition to providing us delicious seafood, estuaries are important for keeping our waters clear. They act as filters between land and ocean, removing pollutants and excess nutrients that trickle down from inland areas. Clumps of oysters attached to mangroves help with this filtration, with a single oyster purifying up to 50 gallons of water per day. Estuaries also help protect neighboring upland communities against erosion, flooding, and storm surge. These are just some of the many things that make estuaries unique. Estuaries are special because they're different from other water bodies like oceans and rivers. They're kind of the best of both worlds. In my mind, what makes estuaries so special is that they are a diverse patchwork of interconnected ecosystems. So the overall health of the estuary is really dependent on the individual ecosystems all working in harmony. In the Tampa Bay estuary, our seascape primarily consists of mangrove forests, oyster reefs, seagrass habitats, and even some hard bottom sites. So the collection of all of these ecosystems working in harmony is really what makes the Tampa Bay estuary so productive. Estuaries also provide us ample opportunities for recreational activities, such as kayaking, fishing, and bird watching. Birds are frequent visitors of estuaries because of the wide variety of food available to them. You will often see herons, egrets, ospreys, pelicans, and other birds looking for fish, crab, or mollusks to munch on. Estuaries are beautiful places to visit and live, not only for wildlife, but also for people. In fact, about 40% of the United States population live near a coastal area. Therefore, estuaries face many threats from human impact. So our major concerns for the estuary um, 
are primarily maintaining water quality, um, making sure that we continue to meet those water quality standards outlined by the state. When we talk about water quality in Sarasota Bay, we're mainly talking about nutrients. Nutrients are something that you need some of in an estuary, but not too much. Seagrass meadows are made up of flowering plants that, most, like most other plants, they need light to survive. So if there's too many nutrients, too much algae in the water column, those seagrasses probably aren't getting enough light to be able to grow and flourish like we want them to. One thing we're working on is we're working with our partners to put together a model that tells us where the most nutrients are coming from that get to the bay so that we can work together to try to reduce those sources of nutrients and improve our water quality. We're also very concerned with sea level rise and the impacts to both our community as well as the habitats that we are working to protect and restore. If you think about Sarasota Bay today compared to say 100 years ago or so, there's a lot less habitat or green space available for wildlife around the bay. So we work together with our partners to try to bring back some of that habitat where and when we can. And then finally, we are very concerned, as many people are, about plastic pollution and marine debris in general in our estuary. One of our projects that we are really excited about is called our Trash Free Waters Initiative. Um, so we recently received a grant from the EPA and this, these funds will help us purchase and deploy 10 different debris collection devices throughout the Tampa Bay watershed. So we will be working with our partners in order to prioritize specific locations. And then once these um, collection devices are actually deployed, we're going to be working with our citizen science to collect data Data on the debris that's actually being collected. These amazing habitats are important for our wildlife, recreation, and our local economy. There are many changes we can make in our everyday lives to help protect them. Your greatest impacts, I feel, are um, done by your daily actions. Um, so I think that being more mindful about the products that you purchase and the packaging that those products are in is one really great place to start. There's a saying that if you love something, you'll work harder to protect it. One of the best ways that people can help Sarasota Bay is to learn more about it. And the best way to do that is to come out to our beautiful coastal preserves, like here at Lethis Key, or any of the other beautiful Manatee County coastal preserves like Neal or Robinson Preserve. It's a great way to learn about these habitats. There's a lot of environmental education that's available just by walking around the boardwalks and the trails. If you're interested in getting your hands dirty, I recommend visiting our website and signing up for our volunteer listserv. Um, this will keep you up abreast about any citizen science projects we have going on, as well as any restoration projects. Another way people can help is to take advantage of some of the educational materials that we have available online. For example, you can visit our website at www.sarasotabay.org. We have a lot of information there about the Sarasota Bay ecosystem. We also have a whole set of pages that we just updated called our Bay Friendly Living Guide, which has a ton of information about what anybody can do in their home, in their school, in their workplace, and on the water to help protect Sarasota Bay. We all need to understand Sarasota Bay and its ecosystem, and that we all have a role in helping protect it. Estuaries are a critical part of our overall ocean health. If you've enjoyed a delicious seafood dinner, kayaked through a mangrove forest, or taken in the sights of our beautiful coastline, be sure to thank an estuary. Thank you for tuning in to Explorers Academy. We hope to see you next time.